Alright my friends, what is going on and welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to crack into the number 64th best player as voted by his peers in the NFL, which is the National Football League, for the year 2020. There is no time to lose. His name's Harrison Smith. He's a defensive back for the Vikings, either a safety or a corner. I feel like he's a safety, but I can't exactly remember. Why are they calling him a DB? Does, does that mean he plays both positions? We haven't seen DB as a player position yet on this series. It's usually a safety or a cornerback. I don't know why that is. Let's find out. From, from who I played this year, I definitely go Harrison Smith. I think this year, just the safeties we've seen, I think he's had the biggest impact um, in, in the game. Nice work, Harrison. But before we get into this, look, I'm sorry, I didn't do this with Tyler Lockett, but I will do this with um, old Harrison. I'm not going to say why, but you guys might work it out. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, 31 years of age. Holy shit, kind of looks like me. Um, February 2nd, 1989, 6 foot 2, 100 kg. 20, 29th pick in the first round of the 2012 draft. Went to the Vikings, five Pro Bowls in a row. One first team All Pro selection, one second team All Pro selection. He is a tackle machine. Um, played four seasons at Notre Dame, which is honestly something you don't see a lot from these top guys. You know, a lot of them only play three seasons. He played four seasons, came out, he was a first round selection, 4 5 7 um, at the combine, a 34 inch vertical jump, 10 foot 2 inch broad jump, 19 reps on the bench. He's listed at 188 centimetres, which is 6 foot 1 and 7 eighths of an inch. So almost 6 foot 2. We'll call him 6 2. 6 2, 220. That's what I'm going to call him. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Whoops. It looks like he's freelancing or improving a play, but because he's so into the film, it's like he's seen it before. That's why he breaks so fast, he hits so hard, and knows where to be. Put your hands up! Tends to be in the right place at the right time. It is knocked away by Harrison Smith. Loops it over the middle. And oh, oh shit. Smith. That's a swift play. Carry the hitman. Came flying through the air like Superman. I can't even lie. That, that hit, he, <laughs> he gave me a nice hit. Which one was that? That last one. Here comes Smith. Adams, no that's not, 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 not Adams is it? But his nickname's Harry the Hitman, for obvious reasons. I can't even lie, that, that hit, he, he gave me a nice hit. I thought I had an easy touchdown. Um, I, I was about to catch the ball, use my speed, get a feel. Jones under center, play action. As soon as the ball hit my hands, damn, right in the back. And he was just right there in a split second. That is a nice tackle bro, drove the shoulder in. There's going to be no head-to-head -head contact on that one. I love how Harrison just made a quick decision. Look at this. Let's see what right the contact now. looks like. Bang, bro! That's a beautiful tackle. Right to Ingram. Ooh. And, oh my god, he put the shoulder in. He literally stopped him in his tracks. I've talked about in the past, you know, driving him with the shoulder, you know, probably from the upper leg to the shoulder. But the perfect place to smash someone with a tackle, the perfect place to drive someone, with your shoulder is right at the crease of the hip because it takes away any momentum they've got they're, you know <laughs> it just stops them I mean literally you're running along like this if you hit them right there at the hip that's what their body does and that's exactly what we're seeing in this moment here wow what a tackle I absolutely love that fantastic and he wrapped his arms too he wraps, he's wrapping his arms around the leg which is even better just about picked off by Kendricks they run like cover four they had two deep safeties, but they kind of play close. Um, they have their quarter of the field. And he's in the back row trying to get to his quarter. They had a vertical route. Um, usually when there's two out, when there's a two out safety, that middle's open. I'm uh, just wide open. I'm, I, uh, that's, that's, that's what I do. I get down the seam and try to split the field. And the ball's coming. I'm like, I'm fully relaxed. I'm about to catch the ball and, and get loose with it. And as soon as I the ball hit my hands, I'm getting rocked. Oof. I was just shook because literally, I, as soon as I took my eyes off of him, he was outside leverage on me, backpedaling. The dude. Holy shit! Okay, so he's he's watching him now. Here he is. Here he's he's probably well. I mean, we're gonna call that 
at the time that he turned, they're probably about 12 yards, 12 yards away. The ball is fired. So how long does it take him to, to cover? Nah, bro, he was gonna nail you, man. He knew! If that ball goes to you, mate, I am gonna absolutely nail you. And that's what happened. Honestly, the hardest I've been hit in my three years playing. Ooh, too. the hardest hit! He, he got a lot of my respect that game. It looks like he gets a lot of free reign to line up where he wants to. I wanna to hear him speak, bro. Room. Yeah, we got a, we got a, a joke in the DV room that Harry gets the blitz whenever he wants to. I mean, there's schemes with it, but whenever Harry gets on the line, you're like, okay, he gets the blitz again, he gets the blitz again. But it's like, he disguises it so well, so much sometimes, he'll mess up, you know, the corners. How many sacks has this guy got as a safety? They haven't got his stats for this year, but he has a total of 13 sacks at the end of last year. 13 sacks for his whole entire career from 114 games. So we're probably talking about, you know, an average of, of I don't know, one every nine games, something like that. Because they'll hold it for so long and then burst out to the middle of the field. Like he was disguised, and I'm like, Harry, like, drop, drop. And he's on the line of scrimmage. I'm like, he takes off. I'm like, oh. So I got back in my coverage. Hit quickly by Harris. Another lovely tackle. Okay, so just before we move on, I do want to, I do want to see exactly like what is, you know, I love that tackle. I want to know what his sporting history is. And it seems, as is the case with a lot of these um, defensive backs, he played basketball, he ran track. In track, he completed, competed primarily as a jumper and the decathlon. He had a career best leap of two meters three. What? Two meters? Clearing over two meters in the high jump. What's his vertical? His vertical's 34 I would have, I would have thought his vertical would be higher than that at 34 inches, but that, that's fucking ridiculous. I mean, he is six foot two. He had a personal best of, of 6.54 in the long jump and 14.14, sorry, 14.15 in the triple jump. He was listed as the number 25 athlete in the nation and considered a four star recruit. He's 31 years of age. He's actually been around for a fucking long time. He's been at the Minnesota Vikings ever since being drafted in 2012. He's a one team player. He's an absolute legend. His name's Harrison Smith. As soon as the ball height, you might see him back to the middle of the field. Uh, he plays with a lot of energy. He flies around. Oh, yeah. Get that here. ball. When you watch him on film, I think of like a, it's like a spider just like jumping around the field. The dude's just ranging. Damn, bro. He's a. <laughs> All right, my friends, I reckon that's about enough for old mate Harrison Smith. I really enjoyed that. Anytime I watch the Vikings from now on, I'm going to be looking for him. Which is cool because he's on the defensive side of the ball and normally I'm not that interested in defensive players. But I am now. So guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Please like the video if you've liked it and uh, consider subscribing if not. That doesn't make sense. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. That's what I meant to say. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you soon. For you, I run the world, I'd run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now.